Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Open Research Institute booth, where our voices have nearly given out at the end of DEF CON. The demo we have here today is about voice quality, digital voice quality, especially for amateur radio. And if you start with what exists today, go to the ham radio store and try to buy a digital voice radio, you end up with something like this, 20 year old mobile phone, or not mobile phone, but uh, land mobile technology. It has a 20 year old vocoder. It's locked down, proprietary, patented, you can't mess with it. And it sounds like a little robot in a box. It's just not great voice quality. So the M17 project, which is a group we work with, has created a protocol of their own for radios of this type, um, which they're able to replace the, the voice coder with something a little more modern, called Codec 2. Codec 2 is open source, not patented, licensed freely, so it's available for experimentation. And they use it at about 3.2 kilobits per second and get pretty good voice quality out of it. And I'm able to demonstrate that voice quality by transmitting on this radio, which has modified firmware courtesy of the OpenRTX firmware development team. OpenRTX. Uh, so it runs M17. So I transmit on this, I'm receiving on this web receiver, thanks to this Raspberry Pi running the server and these SDRs that are connected. You can see the signal here. Hello everybody, I'm Michelle Thompson, W5NYV, and I'm here to tell you all about what Open Research Institute is and what we have been doing. Open Research Institute, ORI, is a nonprofit research and development organization which provides all of its work to the general public under the principles of open source and open access to research. As we all know, these mean particular things, and those things have to be defined and they have to be defended. Hi, everybody. This is Michelle. If you'd like to hear more about the M17 protocol, especially the forward error correction and all the technical work that goes into making something like this work over the air, then you're in luck. We have a presentation at the upcoming HAM Expo from QSO today. Here's the link. And the voice quality is, is good, but not really great. Usable, but not pleasant. We say that's not good enough. So we created a system which we call Opulent Voice because it uses that Opus vocoder, current state of the art, very commercially viable vocoder, which has a broad range of bit rates supported. We're actually at the lower end of its bit rate range at 16 kilobits per second. 16 versus 3.2 is still a big step up. And this demo is actually doing that over the air. This computer is transmitting from a file, uh, modulation and channel modeling, it comes out to this SDR, the add-on Pluto, transmitting at 900 megahertz over the air, really over cable for the purposes of demo, being received by this RTL SDR. And this computer is running the receive side of the prototype software. Each dot represents 40 milliseconds of voice. And we're able to demonstrate this over the headphones. Users can listen to the audio quality. Maybe you can hear it. Hello, everybody. I'm Michelle Thompson, W5NYV, and I'm here to tell you all about what Open Research Institute is and what we have been doing. Open Research Institute, ORI, is a nonprofit research and development organization which provides all of its work to the general public under the principles of open source and open access to research. As we all know, these mean particular things, and those things have to be defined and they have to be defended. Here, this is here at DEF CON of 
mostly been very impressed with this audio quality. It's not 100% perfect, not CD quality, but it's really, really good voice quality on audio. This is what ham radio ought to sound like today, and we hope to incorporate that into our satellite system over the next however long it takes. So the question is, why can't we use a 16 kilobit per second codec over here on this radio? So what what's the difference here? Why 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 can't we, we use it over here on VHF to, UHF? We may be able to. The fundamental problem though is bandwidth. These VHF UHF radios are designed for an existing band plan with channels at 15 kilohertz spacings. And our opulent voice takes about 40 kilohertz. It won't fit into one of those channels. In order to use this much bandwidth, we need to go up in frequency to where there's room to spread out. UHF and up. Not a big problem for our satellite system where we're using microwave uplinks and have plenty of room to spread out. But it is a problem for VHF, UHF, where there's more restrictions on bandwidth? It's, it's a legal problem at VHF, for sure. At UHF, there's room. It becomes a band plan issue, whether you're able to coordinate a channel or using it. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. This is one of many technologies we're using to get toward the satellite system. We have a poster over here that describes an authentication system for the satellite system. Another poster over here that describes important regulatory work that's been done to enable development of this satellite system in the open with international cooperation. And there are many other pieces of technology that are either we're developing or we're finding other open source sources for, including propulsion and uh, three-axis orientation of a small satellite. Thank you. Thank you.